Adobe Express offers a simple and free online video editor that's aimed for beginners who need visual content quickly. The program lacks the tools to edit video concisely and is therefore best used for creating short and undemanding videos for social media. We'll start by clicking on the Edit Your Video button on the Adobe Express video page. We'll give our project a title. Then we'll select a template that fits the type of video you want to make. Once you've chosen your template or opted to start from scratch like I'm going to do here, you can start cutting clips together. Each template fills the timeline with boards. You can add additional boards by clicking on the plus button. To delete a board, click in the options menu in the top right and choose delete. Selecting a board loads it up in the viewer for editing. Inside the viewer, you have the option to add videos, text, photos or icons. We'll select add video to open the import options and then navigate to the video we want to add. Once uploaded, Adobe Express takes you straight into the trim video mode where you can change the in and out points and also set the duration. We'll click on save when ready. At the foot of the viewer is a mic button to record narration over the clip should you choose to do so. You can cut your video and make further tweaks by clicking on the pencil icon. Use the trim handles to go back to the video trim mode. You can also adjust the clip's volume, zoom in and zoom out. Use continue clip to split a clip at the last trim point and continue it on a new board. We'll next add some text by clicking on the add text button. The only customizable options available to you are changing the text size and positioning on the screen in a few predefined areas. We'll click on play to play the clip. To edit an export, we'll select it in a timeline and then add content as before. In the layout view, we can choose a layout such as full screen or split screen. Each frame or board can have a different layout. We can add a photo by clicking on the Add Photo button to open up the Photos panel on the right. There are options to upload your own photos and add photos from applications and services such as Lightroom, Creative Cloud and Google Photos. We'll use the search box to do a search for icons and select the one we want to use. We'll finish off by adding a web address. In the theme view, we can add or edit a theme. The theme defines the colors and fonts for all of the frames or boards. In the theme options, we can choose a different color template as well as swapping the colors around by clicking on the swap button in the top right corner. The resize options let you resize your video to either square or widescreen format. We'll leave this as is in widescreen. In the music tab, you can play and use different audio clips from the inbuilt library or add your own by clicking on the add my music button. We'll quickly preview our video. Once we've finished the video, we have options to share and publish as well as downloading to your computer. Finally, you have options of inviting people to view the project and also granting editing access for collaborative projects. Mm -hmm.